Hi guys, how are you all doing? Happy Thursday and welcome back to another video. So today we are building a tiny ranch, a tiny farm, though it's not tiny tiny, it's just a small one. It only has space for one sim, but space for lots of animals. So there's a horse bed, a chicken coop and a house for a cow. <laughs> What's it called? A cow house? It has a name, I'm sure, but I just, I forgot. Anyway, so when I was taking the screenshots for the thumbnail and when I recorded the intro video, I wanted the cow to be awake and be actually in the screenshots and in the video, but he or she was asleep. So yes, it was very unfortunate and I was too lazy to wake the cow up for the screenshots. Though, I don't know if that's even possible. I think, you know, if the cow sleeps, it sleeps, right? But yeah, I thought it would be cool if I just included the other animals that we got with cottage living. So yeah, chickens and cows. I could have also put in a llama, but this lot is just so small. I It's a 30 by 20 or 20 by 30 lot. I don't know, I, I just, I think it's a 20 by 30, yes. <laughs> So it's more deep than it's wide. Is that correct? <laughs> yes, and it's in the right bottom corner of the new world. Chestnut Ridge. It's a cute name, isn't it? I am so in love with this world, but when it comes to lighting, I think it's just so weird, isn't it? So in the daylight, I think it's not bright enough and the sun hits the house or the lot in, in a weird angle. So even if you have wide or huge windows, the light doesn't even come into the house properly. So I think that's very <laughs> sad. And in my last build, I built some skylight windows on the roof. And this is the only spot where the sun hits the house or the sun comes into the house and into the rooms. Otherwise, there's no natural light in the house and that's weird. <laughs> but there are a handful of other lots in this world, so I will try out to build on these lots. Um, there are, There is a 64 by 64 lot, I think, and yeah, it's a pretty huge one. I don't know if I will ever build on this one. Just like the lot in Sunset Valley, it's a huge one and it would be a project, a, a weak project, I'm, I'm sure. <laughs> Plus, I'm also a very impatient person, so if something just takes too long, I can get very frustrated and that's not good. Because being frustrated has a huge impact on creativity, I think. And to be creative, when it comes to Sims 4 builds, I I don't want to feel pressured or just feeling overwhelmed with the build. And that's why I keep my builds rather simple. Well, not simple, more like at a reasonable size. Because I want to be honest, I don't want to be editing those videos, these huge builds. It would be <laughs> chaos pure chaos, that's that's for sure. And doing those voiceovers for those videos is, it's a lot of work, a lot of work and a lot of time that you have to spend on those videos. And yes, speaking of voiceovers, so the last video I had so much struggle with it. So I was planning on doing a voiceover like I always do and my microphone just didn't work. So I thought it could be something with my USB port because in the past I had many problems. Well, not many, but just on a couple occasions I had problems with one of my USB ports. So I was like, okay, my microphone doesn't work. It's not working. So I just changed the USB slot because I have a couple on my top computer tower and I also have like an extension with more USB slots. So I was like, okay, I was gonna, I, I just changed the slot and then it's gonna work. But it didn't and I didn't understand. So 
all my other hardware, like my printer, my mouse, my keyboard, I could just use any USB slot and it would work, but my microphone just wouldn't. And I got so angry because sometimes when I expect things to work and they don't, I get, like I said, I'm very impatient and my patience was, I'm, I was over it. So I thought, okay, it's not the only microphone I have in this house. I also have my microphone, which is um, integrated into my headset. It's, it's a crappy one. So we all know microphones on headsets, they, they are not the best. They are okay, but they are not the best. But I've tried it. I've tried to record my voice with this built-in microphone and it was bad. And I tried to edit it with my software just to make it sound better. And I also watched tutorials on how to just improve the voice that you have recorded with a crappy microphone. But I couldn't make it any... I, I couldn't make it decent. So I have tried another microphone and I have a clip-on is it called clip-on microphone? Because it's it's a tiny one that you can clip onto your shirt and you can speak into the microphone. That's what I usually use when I am outside using my phone to record something. And yes, same. So it was also crappy recordings. So I said, okay, let's just put some music on the video and here comes the funny part so the microphone wasn't properly plugged in so i have this one end this usb end that comes into my tower and the other side of the cable comes right into the microphone and it wasn't properly plugged in and i didn't notice and i i i could i could swear i, I did i did check everything <laughs> to make the microphone work and yeah, just today, right before I started this voiceover, I was so concerned that I couldn't be able to do a voiceover for this video because I was like, okay, my microphone is probably broken. Even though I've bought it a couple weeks ago or probably months, I think it was in April or March, and it wouldn't have been right if, if it was just broken, just like that. So I was like, okay, let's just start over and check everything if, if, if everything is plugged in correctly. And it wasn't. And I was so stupid just not to, to notice it. Yes. But I'm happy. I'm happy that my microphone still works and that I was able to do the voiceover right now for this video. Anyways, this was a very long introduction into the video. <laughs> I just wanted to, to say a few things in the beginning of the video and now it's almost 10 or 9 or 10 minutes into the video. It is uh, 8 minutes and 40 seconds as of right now. So yes, we have built almost the most of the part of the house. I didn't pay attention. <laughs> I have this little window which I can just follow along just to make sure how we are or how far we are into the video and I didn't even pay, it, pay, pay attention to the video but we are right now in the living room which is super small <laughs> and this is the open floor plan again like I said in the last video I like open floor plans especially when it comes to those farmhouse uh, styles or ranch styles. I like it a lot and it makes it seem very um, cozy and warm and especially with the new objects and the new wallpapers it's so beautiful. I love them so much. I think those wood patterns and the textures and the structures are so beautiful. I'd say this is just everything I needed, though I didn't know that I needed it before the pack came out. <laughs> but it's still, it, very, it, it really is everything I needed. So I gave this house one horse bed and I have learned that you can only have one horse if you have one horse bed. So it works like basically if you have one bed, you can only have one sim living in the house. Or you can have two sims living in the house for sure, but 
yeah, you have to know you can only have one horse sleeping in this horse bed. And I gotta say, I haven't done some proper gameplay until today. I watched one of the gameplay trailers and when the game ca when the pack came out, I did some cas and spent maybe like five to ten minutes in in the game to test some or to do some gameplay. And I think instead of building the next farmhouse, if I even do, um, I will do some gameplay because I'm so interested in how all of this works. I know you can have, or I'm sure you can have the horses um, attend on competitions or something like that. Can you win something with your horses? I don't know. That's what I'm assuming as of right now. I'm pretty sure I've seen um, like metal, medals, metal prizes, which you can just um, like hang on the walls or something. So I'm pretty sure I've seen sims like displaying the prizes that they have won with the horses. <laughs> well, I just hope I am not telling something that which is just not true. <laughs> Otherwise, you'd call me a liar <laughs> and I don't want that. Anyway, so for this build, I also had so much fun doing the landscaping. There's no backyard for this house. There's also only a, a huge front yard. And yeah, there's a lot of space for the chickens, for the cow, which was asleep, unfortunately, and the horses and some garden activities like the planting pots. What else did I place there? I think a fire pit as well. And I'm very proud of myself. I placed a mailbox and a trash can. So there's a trash can for outside and for inside. I didn't forget to place them because in one of my couple or last builds I did forget them and yes. <laughs> I made sure that everything is in place and that everything that's necessary for gameplay is there. Such as the fridge and like I said the trash cans and stuff. And also for the horses, everything that they need is there. There's the bed and the, the water thing and the thing where they can have food. I don't know any of those names, what these objects are called. <laughs> I just, I think I just might have to Google it. So yes, I just Googled <laughs> the expressions. So the place where the horse can have uh, water is called watering place. Is that right? And the place where the horse will have its food, is, it's called feeding place. Oh my god, two simple words, watering place and feeding place. Um, maybe I could have thought about or of these words by myself, but probably I was just too lazy to <laughs> spend time on thinking <laughs> or I was just too focused on the voiceover. So I really hope you liked today's build. This is probably my last build for the horse ranch pack. Maybe I get motivated by Pinterest or Google. So I will probably build another horse ranch build. But as of right now, this will be it, I guess. So if you liked the video, please give me a thumbs up and leave a comment if you did. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys.